should start a band, me and you, Gilbert. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'd be so cool. Gilbert and Sternivan. <laughs> well, uh, Gilbert is very desperate today. The, the smell of desperation reeks. I mean, this guy put up his own money for his own DVD, and he's in a panic about getting it sold. Would everyone go to Gilbert Gottfried's website? He's so worried, I don't even think he asked for breakfast. Yeah, this, this... <laughs> yeah he, only, he only grabbed two bottles of free water. <laughs> so, uh, wow. Gilbert Gottfried's new DVD, Gilbert Gottfried, Dirty Jokes, will be available in stores December 6th, where Gilbert expertly tells... And crafts the, the dirty joke. <laughs> to pre-order Gilbert's DVD, go to GilbertGottfried.com. Tell the people so they feel bad for you. You decided because Artie sold so many DVDs. It, it just kills me that Artie has a career. I know. How, how does it sound when I give you advice again? So, uh, <laughs> see, what you have to do is you have to get, like, a recording. You have to get a whole people to film it, like a crew to film it. <laughs> so you film at least, like, two shows. Well, you called Artie for advice, didn't you? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 Apparently, he continues to. Yeah, because Artie was bragging to me. Artie was like, you know, I got my own film crew. I'm going to put up my own money. <laughs> But, you know, and Gilbert hears these stories. You know, Artie... He hears about the money Artie's making. Yeah, yeah, he hears Artie's rolling in dough. And Gilbert started calling Artie over and over again. What do I, I got to do to get a hit? DVD? Artie came off the road? What did he no. do? I mean, you sold a lot of DVDs, right, Artie? I got to be honest with you. Being on this show is such a blessing. I really have. So I'm both on my website and in stores the last year. So Gilbert I here thank says. God every day. I do. So Gilbert. So Gilbert I go. So Gilbert hears this and figures it's a lock. If Artie, if Artie can do it, anyone can do it. That's honestly what the feeling was like. And Gilbert, in the entire history of his show business career, has never once dipped into his own pocket. I think he's got the original dime. He made. Yeah. So based on what Artie told him, he dipped into his own pocket, which is unheard of. Yeah. And it must have hurt. Yeah. And I mean, what'd you put up? About two hundred grand. Uh, no, less than that. How much? A hundred grand, maybe. <laughs> and Gilbert is acting like this hundred grand. He's got to get a return on it. Gilbert is a little upset that the two richest comedians he knows are me and Jackie Martin. Like... <laughs> <laughs> so Gilbert hears this, and finally, I mean, you could imagine what was going on in Gilbert's head. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't want to put up my own money. But, oh, Artie got rich. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, well, God only knows what's going on in that the head. The fact that Artie got rich. Right. The fact that Artie has a career it kills right. me. So, like, you made seven or eight calls to Artie, and as soon as you figured out what was in Artie's head and how he did this, you stopped calling. Yeah, I stopped. Him. Right. Oh, but you say yeah. Gilbert called you again because he's in a yeah, panic. Yeah, what's the new advice? No, well, I haven't had, he called me last week, and I can't get in touch with him. because. And this, this is his excuse. I said, Gilbert, your phone isn't working. He goes, I think that's because the fax was on. <laughs> <laughs> no two phone lines for Gilbert. Oh, my goodness. I kept the fax line on. It sounded like I called the fax machine. Yeah, like, who's faxing him? <laughs> <laughs> who is faxing him? That is so important. Yeah, who is faxing you? I think this way, if, you fax, if I fax him advice, he doesn't have to hear my annoying butcher voice. <laughs> so, uh, what, you need me to move a couch? Uh, so is Gilbert, this an elevator building? So, I guess Gilbert's planning went awry. <laughs> Gilbert freaked out when that's he, your showbiz advisor. Gilbert, <laughs> Gilbert freaked out when he realized it's we only horrible. we only have 19 shows left. Right. Oh. His whole plan now is corrupted. <laughs> well, Gilbert, came, like I said, Gilbert came to see me originally. He came to a gig I did at Caroline's, and then afterwards it, we sat down. <laughs> the manager at Caroline's said, Gilbert Godfrey's here to see you. I'm like, he is? <laughs> and Artie is so thrilled that Gilbert wants to talk to him that Artie tells him everything because he no. can't believe Gilbert, who he adores, Gilbert is wants a, to talk to him. Gilbert's a hero of mine. I always love him. I go, like, oh, wow, he needs to talk to me about comedy. You know, maybe two, like, comedians... <laughs> Sitting down and We're shooting. gonna chill. Yeah, so we're chill yeah. Gilbert, we'll riff. Gilbert is choking on every word in this discussion because he just wants his money. He wants more money than Artie. Right. Right. And uh, so to, to lower myself to have to talk to Artie. But then he goes. You know, the funny thing he goes. He, he had a panic. Here. This was like in April. And he right. goes. I've been doing the show for 20 years, and I finally got something to promote. And he's moving to satellite. <laughs> <laughs> Is that our fault? You didn't think of anything for 20. So he calls. 
He calls Baba Booey in a panic. And Gilbert never calls us for appearances. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, you know, he doesn't want to get up early. He's like, I need to book myself on the show every day for the last 19 shows. <laughs> I mean, Gilbert's CD is in, or DVD isn't even out yet till December 6th. So oh, he goes, no. I need to book myself. Well, December, starting December 6th, I need to be on the show every day. <laughs> That's what else I said to him. I, I said, yeah, mine came out on the website December 13th in time for Christmas. you got to get out for Christmas oh. and you move a lot. And there was know. such a rush. Yeah. I mean, Gilbert is in a panic. So here he is today. This is a mercy booking. Because, really, there's no need for yeah, him. Yeah, what would he do if you wouldn't book him? I don't know. I, I didn't have the heart because I said to Gary, he was just here. He goes... No, but he really needs this. <laughs> he, put all, he put up all his own money. I said, all right, let him in. But uh, Gilbert's new DVD is very funny, and to pre-order Gilbert's... And he needs you to pre-order it so he yes, doesn't have... Yes, he needs to know. And you want to know something? I need you to pre-order it so I don't have to be, you know, sitting here with him if every day. If Gilbert is here tomorrow, <laughs> you're not doing your job. I mean, a lot of people are probably sitting there going, you know what? Who wants Gilbert on every day? Well, it's up to you to keep him off. That's right. <laughs> It will only happen if you dial. It's like Channel 13. And I'm Gilbert's only hope. Let's face it, Letterman isn't having him on. <laughs> He's off Hollywood Squares. Uh, Leno has him on once in a while, but God forbid Leno let him promote something. Right. <laughs> you know, Jay won't even let him. He doesn't I, you know actually what? talk to Gilbert. Well, it's funny. This show is like, I did the Craig Kilborn show once to promote something. And I think the, the gift DVDs that I brought for the staff, that, that's what it cost me. I actually lost four DVDs. Yeah. The yeah. Nobody, <laughs> called. Nobody called. That's right. So anyway, this is Gilbert's big push. This is his holiday push. And Gilbert, why don't you say a few words about your new DVD? <laughs> <laughs> Go out and buy it so I don't have to come back anymore. Gilbert will be at Caroline's on Broadway in Manhattan December 22nd through the 24th, and I'm sure he'll be selling those from the stage. Uh, you know what? If, when we go off the air, he's going to become Jackie the Joke. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to sell it at shows, too. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. See, the thing is, when I uh, get off stage, I have a stand set up, and I also sell it, like, right after I get off the stage. You can even mention when you're on stage. Is that what you that, do? Uh, Did you tell that? I, 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 don't, I don't do it myself. The, dis the distribution company sets up a stand. And <laughs> But Jackie, Jackie actually used to do it himself. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't would be able to set up a stand. Jackie had one of those ice cream change yeah. makers right. that he'd wear uh, on stage so he could sell people stuff. <laughs> I was like, what is he doing? You know, it was embarrassing. Uh, so, but he's living on the ocean. Yeah. What would Gilbert do if we get fired? Like when we got suspended, I think they found Gilbert hanging from a rope in his apartment. Well, that would be what happened. And then He'd be they, in his apartment dead. Yeah, and then they said, "Wait, no, no, head in the, oven. the suspension's only a day." And then he and he cut himself loose. But you realize Gilbert just bought the new apartment too. Oh, yeah. oh man, he's been going into that little piggy bank of his I a spent, lot lately. I spent three point five million. <laughs> What is it? Well, now that Gilbert crawled into the 21st century with DVDs, do you have any uh, interest in any of Gilbert's new blog entries from his uh, website? Yeah, what do you got? Yeah, I, I, you read them. Uh, yeah, Gilbert has a website that is the worst website ever. <laughs> I, I put in blogs for no other reason than I feel like I'm supposed to. I have nothing to say. Let's see, November 6, 2005, my second blog. Today, because of some stupid no-name tornado, I got preempted from Fox and Friends. Oh, I see. Oh, they booked you. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think people are going to pre-order your DVD? Like, don't like, like, what is that about? Are people pre-pre-ordering it? I think two people did after Fox and Friends. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, but we filmed the segment anyway, which had the crew and everyone in the green room in hysterics. It will air most likely next Sunday. It'll take a lot more than some dumbass act of God to stop me from shamelessly plugging my DVD, Gilbert Godfrey, Dirty Jokes. Oh, my God. This is embarrassing. <laughs> See, I, the only worst uh, website is mine because I don't even blog. I don't bother blogging. <laughs> oh, you won't even talk to Somebody the put the blog on mine. I felt like now I have to do stuff, and I have nothing to say on them. Yes. I see you were part of the special. I see on your blog you, you make mention that you were part of the Saturday Night Live 80s special. Oh, yes. Where your distinguished work was a part of Saturday Night Live for so many years. Oh, yes. For one year. My, my brilliant work on <laughs> Saturday Night Live. I don't know why you didn't work on Saturday Night Live. I mean, like, I thought you would have been a natural for that show. And you, you, got, you really maybe disappeared so quickly. And yeah. <laughs> you so didn't make your mark. What went wrong I, there? I think I was one of the first people they decided to fire. Why didn't they have you do Dracula Godfrey? And, uh... I do that on the DVD along with Groucho. Can I make you a pitch? 
Uh, can I make you a picture? <laughs> okay. I want to do a half hour once a week yes. series on radio with you called Dracula Gottfried. Okay. And we'll write it for you, the whole thing. Oh, come on. That'd and this hilarious. is where you are Dracula Gottfried, and every week we get you a different guest starlet. <laughs> and you bite, instead of biting them on the neck, you bite them on their private parts. Ah, I do. What, <laughs> like I turn it down? Right. So I'm going to contact you about that. I want you to. I want you to take Dracula Godfrey to make a full half hour once a week. Could we get Artie to direct? Uh, no. <laughs> what you got to do is stand by the Say, camera. I think I want more emotion. <laughs> No, but it, it will be your Dracula Godfrey and, and like a beautiful like we'll get Pam Anderson to do it. Like, Hello, Dracula Godfrey. And you'll be oh, Dracula Godfrey. <laughs> and called tampon time with Dracula Godfrey. <laughs> what do you think? Would you do it? Yeah, because you don't want to kill me. Yeah, provided anymore. we can afford you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, and you can plug your new DVD on the show. Yeah, like I'm going to turn it down because it's too low quality for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I have it's this. It's beneath my standards. I have it in mind. And then after Dracula Godfrey, you'll do Pope Godfrey, where you seduce a young boy every week. <laughs> Which one would you rather do? I've got two two concepts for you. Well, well, who could we get that little boy from uh, the Wonder Years? Yes, yeah, yes, yes. The, the, oh, he has a little boy in mind. Yes, yes. <laughs> He's a hottie. I'll, you know, well, let's do the Dracula guy too with the girls. Yes. Some, I will take some. Uh, How long was this in? <laughs> I cannot breathe. <laughs> this is filled with fraud. I'll listen to that every week. I think this tampon is older than me. Seriously, I have it in my book that that's what I want you to do. And Robin can be Bride of Dracula. <laughs> well, yeah, Robin could be in it. Robin, you would be honored, I'm sure. I would be honored to yes. have you write me a part. If she was Bride of Dracula, what would you say to her? <laughs> Why? Let me take that tampon out of your chocolate cookie. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You're a natural. Oh, my goodness. He remembered the clue. Yes. Uh, One of the classics. We'll air it Friday nights, Friday nights, yes. 9, 9 p.m., Dracula Godfrey. Go up against any network show. Okay. All right? It would be must watch or must listen to radio. Would you do it? Sure, why not? Dracula Godfrey. Yes. I will buy your private parts. The hot... That I'd be picked the pubic hairs out of my fangs. <laughs> <laughs> what is that hideous odor? It's killing me. That this take through the heart can do. That smell is making me rot away. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? He's, He's a perfect, star. Yeah. He's already ready to go. All right, so that's I'm in that's in the works. I'll contact your production company. I'm gonna make a deal. Maybe you should fax him since he's got his fax on. Do you have a special company name that releases the DVD? In other words, because you put up your own money. In other words, you had to form a company. Yes. Am I correct? What is the company name? It's just Tilburn Gottfried Productions. Wow. Well, that carries a lot of weight. Yes. <laughs> Gigi. It's not like Gilco or... Oh, I wish. Right. No. I, I should have it changed to that. That's a... So you incorporated, you became Gilbert Gottfried Productions? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and is your only product... That, the... That's another thing. Yeah, it's the only product. The DVD. But maybe you have dreams of other products. <laughs> You gotta get a T-shirt. Yeah, you see, see what you gotta do is uh, have things that also they advertise each other. Uh, you know, there's a T-shirt that talks about the DVD. And and so this is the first offering from your production company. Yes. Wow. And you worked hard on the name, Gilbert Godfrey Productions. Yes, that took a while. Is there a logo for Gilbert Godfrey Productions? Did you have somebody make one up? Is there a, like at the end of the DVD, like, do we see Gilbert Godfrey Productions? Like me listening to a, ph a phonograph. Right, you know, like a dog. Like a dog. Yeah. How about, you know what's a great logo for you? A girl vomiting. Yeah. <laughs> the drawing of Gilbert not paying for something. Yes. <laughs> All right, Gilbert, it's exciting to have you here. Gilbert is the star of his own DVD from Gilbert Godfrey Productions. 
And uh, everyone is excited about it. I know, Robin, you're excited about the upcoming show, Dracula Gottfried, where you'll be in it. Oh, yes. I'm, yeah. This is uh, Dracula. G uh, Gilbert offering you, uh, yes, yeah. the bride of uh, Dracula role. <laughs> like, a lifetime. Uh, that is a role of a lifetime. A lot of women were fighting. Right. For his advice, I should give Artie an executive producer credit. <laughs> Is there a logo for Gilbert Gottfried Production Company? Seriously. No, I wish there was. No. Why don't, in, in true Gilbert style, why don't you just steal the Nike logo <laughs> and make it your own? Well, let me ask you something. What is going to be on the DVD? Do we have a cover art? Yeah, will it be behind the scenes? Oh, that, well, I... I... <laughs> I'm helping you sell this. Yes. Thing, uh... Well, I did do like uh like the uh the extras. I do a Dracula. You do? Yes. Oh. And so an there old are extra show. added scenes. Oh, you do. There's extra added scenes. Yes. <laughs> Only for your fans. <laughs> yeah, I, I gave him that advice. Yeah. So what you need is the extras, because that's why they're gonna get a DVD over the CD. <laughs> Is that there has to did be you tell you that? Did, did you tell him that? I said you need extras, Jim. What are your extras you on your DVD? I, I, I put my socks on. It's already doing yoga. <laughs> I, I, Here's I, a yoga lesson yeah, for you. You see me walking into the club. It's me exercising. The <laughs> no, wait, what, are your, what are your extras? That I, you... I took uh, cameras on a couple of like hellish gigs in Jersey and just let them see me backstage drinking and... You know, smoking oh. and, you know, crazy fans and wow. stuff. So, and Gilbert, you do uh, Dracula Gottfried. Yes. And you do your favorite, your famous Groucho. Yeah, movie. the oh. old Groucho. Well, I mean, well, that's an extra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get that every day. Why didn't you do yoga and teach people the lotus oh, oh, position? Oh, yes. It's, do you know what it is? Extras don't work in stand-up DVDs because the deleted scenes are going to be like jokes that just aren't good enough. <laughs> Shots of Gilbert sleeping. <laughs> now, I understand, too, if you go to your website, an autograph DVD is $12 extra. <laughs> now, now, what made, how did you decide on $12 extra? Somebody suggested that to me, and that I don't even think it was Artie. It wasn't me. I didn't even have the balls to do that. <laughs> I, 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 I signed him for free, for the record. So he's getting advice from a lot of different quarters. And I notice you don't give out any free copies. Yes. You didn't bring in any from my staff or anything like that, did you? We don't want to boot like that. I was going to say, I mean, we can't even hear this, so we could say something about it. Now, now for $12 extra, <laughs> yes. whose name is the autograph from? Is it your autograph or is it somebody better? <laughs> it's 12 bucks that seems like... Would you get me? Mel Gibson. <laughs> yeah, it's Gilbert and Mel Gibson. No, but I mean, uh, what? really, $12. How did say, you... Who's your partner, Barry Bonds? <laughs> Do you think this will be worth more with your should, autograph? Should at least be like Shannon Doherty's yeah, autograph. I mean, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the nerve of putting your autograph yes. on this thing. But okay, so has any? The, be honest I, with me. Has anyone ordered an yes, autograph copy? Yes, they have. They have. How many oh. people? I, Four. I think. I think <laughs> I think it's with the hope that I'll get shot tomorrow and it'll be worth something. Chances are you will. Yes. If I what? sent you $6, would you What's... just give me your first name? Just put Gilbert on it? <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd do that. Well, i got to tell you, this sounds like a great deal. But... <laughs> For $2, I'll initial it. Uh, Brian, you're on the air. Go uh -oh. ahead. Yeah, you know, I'll buy a CD if you just get them off the air. All right, so there's a first. Oh, okay, a that's sale. a sale. If Gilbert leaves right now, you'll buy one. I, I most certainly will. I'll buy ten. <laughs> that's I'll great. buy a hundred. Just get them off the radio. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been listening for ten years, and in ten years, every time he comes on, I got to turn it off for the day. Wow. All right. Well, there you go. You know, some people say he's our best guest. Yeah. <laughs> Some people are lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, anyway, I'm going to keep Gilbert around, well, even though through hatred, they're selling like wildfire. <laughs> well, Gilbert, I like you, and that's all that counts. Well, Robin, it's time for news. Gilbert's going to sit in, and I'll, I'll again give out the information for Gilbert Gottfried's breakthrough new DVD, Gilbert Gottfried Dirty Jokes. He put up all the, his own money. This is really make it or break it time for him. This is a risk. This is a financial risk. He's insulted that you would buy Artie's DVD and not his. <laughs> I'm insulted that Artie has any career whatsoever. No, yeah, he's not insulted by that. He's insulted here that I'm in the business. <laughs> the DVD is available in stores December 6th, or if you want to pre-order, you go to GilbertGottfried.com. And when you go to that website, there's lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> read the blog. You can read those blogs. Yes. You know, we got... We got one more thing we need to discuss with Gilbert, which is how many more appearances for Gilbert before we leave? 
I think that's it. No, this but, is it. I don't think it is for Gilbert. Oh, he wants more. Yeah, he, he's looking right. for at least... I'll tell you what. I'll give you one more once you get the DVD on sale. Is that, that, would, is be that, would that be good? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think, can you get it on sale by the 16th of December? Yeah. We're leaving. We're leaving. Uh, when does he go in the stores? On the 6th. All right. So why don't you come in on the 6th and you make a big announcement that it's in the stores and we'll, and we'll, and we'll be done with this. Do a song. Okay. All right. And, and, then, and then you'll start your new series, Dracula Godfrey. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Is Gilbert booking himself anywhere else? You know, usually uh, there's yeah. a big media. Why is the responsibility blitz? falling all on me? <laughs> Gilbert's like, uh, he doesn't know it yet, but I'll be on Letterman November 19th. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gilbert, how much extra work was it for you when you found out Howard was leaving? You rushed to, you know, you made it go quicker, right? Oh, Cause, yes. Because you wanted to sell it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the plan. Did that? Did that? Like, did you? When did you? When you? You heard like a year ago, so you just went right into production right away. Yes. You talk about all the years Gilbert's been doing this show, and he finally wakes up to the commercial potential of it <laughs> as we're leaving, and and finally gets puts up his own money, takes the risk, and we're leaving. But literally, we're almost out the door. Yeah. He finally realizes he can do more than sell out Chuckles and Mineola. Exactly. Is there any yes. show you won't do? No. Uh, you will do every show you uh, can. Yeah. Right. So have you booked yourself on other shows to yes. promote the DVD? What yeah, show? Where are I for the straight guy? I'll be doing this. <laughs> How, can I ask a Does question? Does anybody want you on these shows? Yes. No. 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 Did, did, are you booking yourself or did you hire someone to sort of do publicity for the project? <laughs> uh, th thankfully, they've got like a PR guy at this the distribution company. Yeah. Because you got to have a distribution company. <laughs> 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 All right. So... Would you even go on the gay channel at the, uh, <laughs> to promote? You would, right? You would. Be you know what you got to do. Should I give him more advice or what? Yeah. Well, well you got to do it. This kills me. Yeah. I know what I was going to say. This is the person I actually no, take advice this from. Distribu the distributor has guys who can get you individual uh, publicists in tiny cities. Go to Pittsburgh, do a signing and a gig, and you'll sell a million of them. You just got to go on a little tour. See, what kills me is he sounds stupider than my imitation of him. <laughs> See, Artie, right, that's so. totally believable to the part where, you get, where Gilbert doesn't want to actually work. No, he but you, go, you just go on a little tour. Yeah, he just wants a lot of money for doing nothing. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to go on any tours. You don't really tour that much, do you? Uh, I, I'm just right. hoping enough people will hate me to just uh, buy it right now and just... All right. Gilbert, have you ever done an autograph signing? Like, for just sat in a record store and done an autograph signing? No one's ever wanted it. I don't think anyone would go. <laughs> Dude, so you do, do five cities, you'll you'll be you'll be in the black. You'll be wonderful. So you're gonna do your, your so the extras on the DVD, so the audience understands this. They they not only get your 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 stand up of dirty jokes, but they get you doing Groucho. A, 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 when did Groucho die? Like 50 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> you do a Buster Keaton impression on there for the extras, or uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe do, can you learn a new impression? I do a Ben Blue imitation. Well, what about anybody more current that we can look forward to in the extras? <laughs> Gilbert stopped watching TV when Groucho died. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm working on my new Peter Lawford imitation. Do you do an Eisenhower? President Eisenhower? You do. I right. think he only has basic cable, I was say, so his movie channel is, you know, Turner Classic Network. Do you have cable TV, or do you still get it off the free antenna? <laughs> no, really? No, I, I have cable. Basic, or do you have, like, you, you know... You get HBO and... No, he doesn't. He doesn't. That's what I'm telling you. He only sees these old Do you know movies. what your cable... Your cable yes. must be like twelve ninety five. Yes. <laughs> it's cheaper than network TV. <laughs> <laughs> so when you do Groucho, what, 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 routine, what, what routine do you do? I, I don't remember which one I actually do. I just... Uh... Here's Groucho talking to Socrates. <laughs> <laughs> it's very current. Remember when Socrates had a talk show. <laughs> All right, so this is exciting for you. Yes. All right, that's a big project. <laughs> all right, uh, let's go to Robin Quivers, who has all the news that you could possibly want today. And Gilbert, feel free to chime in. Oh, okay. All right. Let us know you're here. Yeah, because we forget. <laughs> <laughs> they say there's a new uh, sex drug. Oh. Out that will be as good for women as it is for men. I'm homoerotic, man. It's called PT-141. <laughs> Just what? a short or two from a nasal inhaler is enough to stoke up the sexual fires for both Fire! men and women, and often within minutes, according to a Canadian scientist. I don't need that. I have Heidi Cortez. I listened to her show last night for a half hour, yeah. and I went and I had sex with Beth. She's your PT-141. <laughs> She's my PT-141. But maybe Beth could use it. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, what are you saying, Robin? No, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> no, don't worry. The lights were out. She couldn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. Good point, Robin. And sex experts say the drug, which is undergoing final trials before beginning a Federal Food and Drug Administration review, would be a boon to women with desire disorders that Viagra... Uh, Basically, any woman for with me. impotent men. Would you ever use a Viagra or a, an experiment like you know with any? I know you you have no trouble getting aroused, but would you ever? <laughs> would you would you ever use Viagra in your lovemaking? <laughs> Did you ever try? Have you ever tried it? I've never tried it. No, no. it costs money. Be, yes. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, it's like like about twelve dollars a pill. Uh, if you could get it for free, would you try yeah. it? <laughs> Let's go to Andy. Andy, you're on the air. Gilbert Gottfried. Hey, now. What's up, brother? Hey, now. Yo, Gilbert Gottfried is definitely the best guest you've ever had on the show. Absolutely. He's terrific. I go and see him when he's at Governor's or wherever he is. I'll buy his DVD. Everything you do with Gilbert, he is definitely... I saw him at Governor's, and the stuff he talks about, eating people and plane crashes, it's, it's insane, Howard. <laughs> he is a truly gifted comic. Yeah, hey, Howard, I'm the first on your list to be a home for furniture down there. You remember that last week when I called you on Friday? Yeah, hey, yeah, it'll be fun. We're going to do the last walk. I'll do it about 8 o'clock. All right, sounds awesome. Hey, you still giving away any cash, Howard? Uh, I'm a truck driver out here with two kids. All right, didn't, you, didn't I give you cash the last time? No, you didn't. You put me on the list to carry furniture. That was it. All right, you've won $500 cold hard cash courtesy oh, of the new brother. comedy Ice Harvest starring John Cusack and Billy Bob Thornton. Critics, Thanks a lot, brother. Critics are calling it this year's Bad Santa. The Ice Harvest in theaters everywhere Wednesday, November 23rd. Hold on. Oh, love you, brother. See, that guy on the phone has more of a right to be in show business than an artist. <laughs> Truck driver. Well, he technically is. Right. He, call, he calls every day. I better be yes. deciding. Robin, what else is in the news? <laughs> they say that they caught Michael Jackson in a ladies' room. He was dressed. What's wrong with that? In... <laughs> a lot of things is wrong with that. He was dressed in Arab garb, you know. He had on a woman's headscarf, and I guess the rest of the the outfit. And then he, you know, he went into the ladies' room to fix his face. I'm a suicide bomber. This was at a Dubai. <laughs> I'm going to kill some Israeli children. <laughs> Shopping mall on Saturday. Cops were called to the scene. To... I'm angry, so I'm going to kill some Israelis. I'm going to go into the ladies' room, <laughs> blow myself up, oh. and kill Israelis. Do you think he yeah. fashions himself a woman? Is that what's going on here, Robin? It sounds very strange to me. Right. We, we fashion him a woman. <laughs> Cops were called in to resolve a dispute between Jackson and a shocked the that, woman. The fact that Artie has a career <laughs> is killing me. <laughs> who snapped his picture as he primped at the mirror. No arrests were made. I'm going to blow my brains out. <laughs> the Khalij Times. He lives in Bahrain now, right? Yeah, apparently he's going to uh, build a house on a uh, an island. And you're there. claiming he dresses like an Arab woman. That's what I had heard right. he was doing anyway, that this is a new disguise, <laughs> that he gets into the uh, baya, as they call it, or whatever it is, and runs around town because, you know, he doesn't like to be seen Anyway. Right. Well, there you go. I will kill the infidels. <laughs> you think he's going to go full out uh, Arab? Yes, I'm Suicide going to go on, on an Israeli bus and blow myself up. <laughs> <laughs> In a dress. <laughs> but first I'll have sex with some Israeli... You're a Iranian woman, and you're going to blow yourself up on a bus, but first you... <laughs> Ones with no hair <laughs> and don't and have higher beach voices than me. <laughs> then I'll blow myself up alone with an Israeli temper. <laughs> Well, Gilbert, there is some hope. The Mega Millions lottery jackpot is $310 million. I could buy a lot of little boys with that <laughs> and then blow myself up after. I think it's weird that you, Michael Jackson, are dressed like a woman and, and, and keep yourself covered. I don't know. I think that's strange. And now you want to blow up Israeli. I mean, you're, really a a, you're really an Arab woman. You're going you're gonna to strap grenades to yourself? I'm going to scrap grenades. Scrap. To my scrap grenades. <laughs> to my feminine scrotum. <laughs> yes. A glistening. A glistening. <laughs> uh, you can't say glisten about it. Yeah, you can't put that in New York's lottery history. 
fueling uh, long lines. Wow, three hundred ten million dollars. That's more money than Artie made on his DVD. <laughs> By only a couple. So even Artie might play. Yes, uh, Hook Nose Mike, you're on the air. Hook Nose. What the hell is the Hook Nose Jew bastard? Listen, Howard, I think uh, somebody forgot to tell Gilbert that he actually has to be funny in order to sell DVDs. Oh, come on. <laughs> if you didn't hear his... But Michael Jackson as a woman, as an Arab woman Wait, I killing don't... Israelis routine? I... Ar Artie advised me. I on forgot that to tell you to be <laughs> funny. See what you should do. Hey, I, I'm telling you, Paul. Every time you have him on, I, I, I don't, I don't see any, I don't see any laughter in his, any humor in his. In his Gilbert, maybe you're not, maybe you're not talking loud enough into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they can't hear you. That's, that's all he does is cackle and laugh. All right, you know he's going mean? to try and make you laugh right now, Hook Nose. Go ahead, uh, Gilbert. Right. Win him over, and then he'll buy your new DVD. All, all right. right, go ahead. Do one of your do your Groucho. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fan of Groucho, Hook Nose? Uh, I don't even remember Groucho. I think I'm too young. Good. Then right. it'll sound even more accurate. Right, listen to this, though. When you hear this, he's going to slay you. Yes, uh, you'll good. you'll be making an order as we or, speak. Or do your Hitler routine. <clears throat> Oh, I remember several years ago that we were rehearsing for the night of the opera. And we were, we were taken into rehearsal space because we were doing it to see how the people would react. All right, Hook knows now. You can't tell me you're not going to order now after that. Uh, uh, when is he going to stop being funny? I'm waiting. <laughs> Hook, Hook Nose is more of a Zeppo guy. You know? <laughs> Why don't you more do, of a gumho. I can see he's a tough customer. Yes. Why don't you do your Fred Allen impression? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Oh, look, it's Senator Clank on. <laughs> well, I see there, Fred. Well, We're going to take a break. Senator. We're going to take a break because it's too much laughter. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried's new DVD, Gilbert Gottfried Dirty Jokes, available in stores December 6th, GilbertGottfried.com for pre-ordering and that special $12 extra <laughs> offer. And Gilbert will be at Caroline's on Broadway in Manhattan on December 22nd through the 24th. For ticket reservations, call 212-757-4100. And uh, we will be back right after these words. Are you guys having a killer time? For Tom Chiasano, my name is Cancer. I'm um, looking for either him or his colon, his pancreas, his rectum, his lungs, his testicles. If you happen to see him, uh, can you tell him that we're looking for him? Thanks a lot. The Howard Stern Show. This is The Howard Stern Show. All day tomorrow, we reminisce about uh, the show and our 20 year history. Gilbert Gottfried with us, his new DVD, Gilbert Gottfried Dirty Jokes, will be available in stores December 6th. And to pre-order Gilbert's DVD, go to GilbertGottfried.com. Don't forget Gilbert at Caroline's on Broadway in Manhattan, December 22nd through the 24th. Go see him live. For ticket res, call 212-757-4100. An honor to have Gilbert Gottfried, the star of a brand new DVD from Gilbert Gottfried Productions. <laughs> You know yeah. what, I was thinking that Gilbert should be telling us some of his favorite moments, but this is not his last appearance. Right, we can't get rid of him. <laughs> He's got to come back and sell more DVDs. <laughs> now, we were in the office, we're going to have some of our favorite Gilbert moments ready for next time. Great. Uh, uh, one of them is when you guys called Jerry Seinfeld's machine. Yes. And my personal favorite is when Gilbert was tormenting Amy Heckerling's Jewish assistant. Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. What about the... Um, What's the guy's name? The one who whose parents that? died in the camps. Right. Yes. Right. Uh, the comedian who uses all the big words. Dennis. Oh, oh yes. Uh, yes. Miller. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 that's right. Gotta get that yes. one. You and I called his uh, answering machine. Yes. Uh, no, no, and you were talking. He, he called in and he was talking about his son Holden and Gilbert. Yes. Got way I'd out like of to be Holden, Holden. <laughs> yeah. Can I like smack some uh, lotion on your ass? Well, we're gonna play your greatest <laughs> moments. You gotta just. Oh, and the there. Abe Hirschfeld. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Gary Abe Hirschfeld. You know Abe died. 
Did you know Abe died? Yes, that makes it even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> he had no bad feelings no, about what you did to him? None. <laughs> I mean, right before the man died, you ridiculed yes. him, and you don't care. All right. Let's go to Robin Quivers, who oh, seems to have dear. the news. All the news. All right, it's uh, ah, 25 years since Mark David Chapman uh, relieved the world of John Lennon. Well, I wouldn't say he relieved the world of John Lennon. No, I mean, that's what happened. John Lennon was no longer in the world. Uh, That's actual sounds from the murder. Mark David Chapman is going to be interviewed by Dateline. Oh, good. And we will get to hear that he felt like a white knight. On the day that he walked, can he mention my DVD? <laughs> if you pay him, he he yes, DVD, I'll, I'll take help from interview. anybody. I want to tell you about the time I shot Lennon, but first, let me mention Gilbert Gottfried's <laughs> new DVD. You know, it's funny you, you read about this guy. He felt so inconsequential. He felt like such a nothing that he said, "If I kill John Lennon, I'll Maybe be somebody." The world will recognize yeah. me. Yes. So in a way, he uh, got his wish. He is now a guy. We know his name, and this is what he wanted in life. Absolutely, he's not suffering at all. You know, and that may be one reason you should have the death penalty. Well, I'll tell you what. He'll never get to see Gilbert Gottfried's new DVD. <laughs> there is some justice. That's right. <laughs> what? <laughs> what else is in the news? I just think it's interesting that, yeah, he can but still... But now be he's in prison going, well, at least I'll never have to talk to Artie. <laughs> <laughs> I may see him there. Oh, I, I was talking to him, talking to Artie during a commercial break, and he's shoving like this chocolate cake <laughs> in his face. It's just horrible. I know he gets that from downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good. Uh, yeah. Well, Mark David Chapman, 25 years in prison. He will come up for parole again. Did he offer in a you? Few years. Did he offer you any chocolate cake? No. No. <laughs> Artie doesn't know how to share. It's he mine. went down in three seconds. So. <laughs> <laughs> but the point here being that Gilbert Mark smelled David free food. Yeah. could one day Slow be free. What? He could one day be free. He gets really? to be considered for parole every few years. He could go free. Well, if the parole board one day says, oh, yeah, he's, reco you know, he's rehabilitated. Well, I oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sure, he's fine. Meanwhile, his uh, former girlfriend says he was the last person you would have ever thought would commit a violent act, and therefore she does believe in evil, because the devil must have had something to do with it. Speaking of girlfriends, does your girlfriend want to have kids with you? Did <laughs> you ever bring that up? <laughs> oh, Gilbert, Jeez. you're such a brilliant comedian. We'll have little comedians running around the house. First, I need that nose spray. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, seriously, did she ever say to you, Gilbert, I want to get married and, and have children with you? Does Come she? on, Gilbert. Does she? Be are you planning to have children? <laughs> You'd be a yeah. great dad. Yeah, I, I want to be one of those comedians that then, after they have kids, does, like, bits about children. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, like when Robin Williams goes up and goes, uh, Oh, I'm, I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi, Daddy. I'm your baby. Oh, <laughs> well, there what are, are you talking to me, son? Will you ever, will you ever, will you, would you name your son Gilbert Gottfried II? <laughs> Such large shoes to fill. You're saying a lot of comedians are ruined once they have children. Yes. It's the Onion Radio News. Another comedian is ruined by parenthood. This is Doyle Redland reporting. Ed Corgi, once hailed as one of the area's funniest and raunchiest stand-up comedians, has reportedly lapsed into mediocrity due to the birth of his daughter, Grace. Fellow comic and close friend Rick Haste says the venom Corgi used to spit at the entire world in the course of his routine is all but gone. Last week, I saw him do this bit about grape juice and another about how hard it is to get a stroller in a car trunk. He did swear a lot as he pantomimed pulling the stroller, but still, I mean, it's just sad. Corgi's new sitcom, Grape Juice, is currently stalled in development at ABC. <laughs> Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News. Thank you, Doyle. See? That's exactly it. Uh, save you your breath. <laughs> All right, Robin, what else? Anything in the news? Prosecutors in Contra Costa County, California, are not ready to charge a Martinez mother. See? Who allegedly... <laughs> Are you caught. a Martinez mother? She was allegedly <laughs> caught. <laughs> What's your name? Let Robin do the news. Offering her young daughter for sex on a popular internet <laughs> site. 
Interrupt again and there'll be no plugs. <laughs> the uh, newspaper there says prosecutors want more evidence in the case against 22-year-old Shannon Wood. She was arrested last week for allegedly attempting to prostitute her four-year-old daughter. On Craigslist, of all places. Are you prostituting your four-year-old daughter? See? <laughs> What's her name? Sue. <laughs> her name they... Sue? See? <laughs> Someone who knew her saw an ad engaged in an anonymous chat room conversation with her and asked if sex with her daughter was a possibility for a price. How much? I don't know the price. I'm just curious what people are selling their kids for. The person who works with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children then contacted authorities. Authorities are in the process of releasing Woods from jail. Her daughter and newborn baby remain in protective custody. Wow. Yeah. Tried to paint the four-year-old. Are you in protective custody? <laughs> All right. Anything else, There's Robin? There's a Saudi princess living here in Boston who has now been charged with forcing two Indonesian women to work for her uh, against their will. She apparently got them here, confiscated their passports, and forced them to uh, work long hours for $300 a month. And uh, they were told if they didn't do it, they would face serious harm. So uh, now they say they have settled that case out of court. But uh, the woman involved was uh, married to a Saudi prince and was, I guess, practicing what you would call close to slavery. I'm here married in the to a Saudi prince's son. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else is in the news. Uh, James Bond movies. Big deal. Aston Martin. Great car. The Bond car. You could get it. The 1964 Aston Martin DB5, which appeared in Goldfinger. You'd look great in that, Gilbert. <laughs> the Bond car. Is what? up for auction. Do you know how to drive? Do you have a license? You don't have a license, I bet. No. You don't, do you? No. You don't know how to drive a car, no. do you? I know it. <laughs> The car is one of four that was used in the movie. And, uh... Are you miserable? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know how to why, drive a car. Why, why ask the obvious? Why did you, you never learn? Well, you dropped out of school, so you never yes. went to driver's ed. No. And I guess you never really uh, had an opportunity to learn how to drive. Have you ever tried to drive? Uh, I've attempted it. Yeah. Are you so uncoordinated that you can't do it? Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so were you good at anything athletic ever? <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Can't believe that. The Bond car is considered the uh, feature car of the auction. It's an auction of vintage motor cars, and they will be uh, offering 100 of the most sought-after cars in the world at that auction. So if you were stranded somewhere and someone was attacking you, the only way to get out is to hop in a car and drive it. You would have no idea how to do it. Yeah, I'd, I'd say you better kill me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wow. A contradiction in Georgia law is what has allowed a 37-year-old pregnant woman to marry the 15-year-old father of her child. Wow. Lisa Lynette Clark is in the Hall County Jail in Gainesville facing charges of child molestation for molesting her husband, essentially. She uh, I'm getting myself high. was able to flout the law and marry him because even though the legal age to get married in Georgia is 16, uh, with parental consent, if pregnancy is a factor, I guess you can just go ahead and get married. Where in the hell are you, you little bastard? So, uh, there you go. She's still going to be charged with molesting him, but now he's her husband. Right. President Bush and Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid have engaged in a war of words in the last couple of weeks about what went on before the president went to war in Iraq. Now, I wanted to know what you think of this whole thing. Did the president and his staff mislead the American public? Yes. Or? No, I, I believe they misled the American public. Was it the CIA and the intelligence community no. No. which mishandled information? I think the agenda was to go to war with Iraq when these guys got elected. This was something they wanted. And after uh, the Afghanistan invasion went well, they said, well, what do we do? Let's go after Iraq next. What's his name isn't uh, cooperating with us. We don't like Saddam Hussein, and they uh, a lot of his advisors misled him, misled the president. So you think the president was misled? <laughs> Absolutely, 
I, I think this but was... But it wasn't because they didn't understand what the intelligence community no. was t- saying to them. they knew full well what was going or on. Or do you think that the American people were misled? Because it's not a matter of whether the president... I think the American actually... people were misled, yes. Yes, it's, I do. It's, he, he got us to support the war. Right. With the information we had that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. Absolutely. The American people were misled. And the Republicans would now like to say that that's really not what went on. Gilbert's like, what war? One of of the president's advisors was Artie. (laughs) So, Mr. President, what you going to do is go after Saddam Hussein. Gilbert, do you feel you were misled by Artie? (laughs) Uh, Oh, yeah. President Bush, here's what you got to do. First, you got an army together. <laughs> right, what else is in the news, Ron? Get a film crew. Yep. Let me finish this cake first. <laughs> <laughs> Star Jones is in the paper again today. They say she's trying to get some more freebies. The only person who loves freebies more than Gilbert is Star Jones. <laughs> the woman has a, an anniversary coming up, a one-year anniversary, and they're claiming in the paper that she like has an assistant call around to see who will give her free spot treatment. So well, she... what she first does is she gets herself some way to pu- publicize it. Right. So she's now contracted to do an, an, some kind of an article on her first anniversary with OK Magazine. Uh, by the way, who is OK Magazine? I've it's never a heard new, of it. It's a British magazine that's okay. trying to make inroads in the American market. So once she gets the magazine offer under her belt. Then she goes out and sees what she can get for free because she'll mention it in the magazine. Doesn't she make a lot of money on The View? I mean, why is she always looking for free stuff? I mean, uh, you're the yeah, one person yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, you're looking I mean, at me. I know you make a lot of money yeah. and you're always looking for free stuff. <laughs> why are you always looking for yeah, free stuff? Why are you Maybe always you looking for free stuff? understand Star. What's the mentality? I once met a guy from the Amsterdam News. And I was in my mind, I was thinking, gee, I wonder if I want a subscription. <laughs> Just, like, it's like from, he does this and Mohammed speaks. <laughs> Maybe I can get a free subscription. What else is in the... Uh, oh, from? my goodness. So Sorry. anyway, Star is denying that they uh, were trying to get anything for free. Right. Even though, you know, that became the story of her wedding. All right. And uh, maybe Arnold wants to go be governor in China. He was mobbed there. He's on a uh, visit to the country of China, and he apparently is still very popular there, even though he's losing popularity in California. He could become the president of China. That could be it. Yep. Paris Hilton, according to Page Six, now has a monkey. Remember how she always used to walk around with that little dog? Yeah, now she has a monkey. And the dog got too big, so she gave it to her mom. Now she has a monkey, and I don't know that the monkey's going to be long uh, her pet because they say in page six that it went berserk when she took it shopping with her to the lingerie store the other day. The, uh, the monkey is called Baby Love, and Baby Love scratched Paris's face and um, jumped out of her arms, clawed at her. Good. Got into a uh, big ruckus, ran around the store. So finally Paris hooked her to a cabinet and went on and had a $4,000 shopping spree. But I don't know how long she's going to put up with a, a monkey that scratches her. She has a sex tape with the monkey now, though. <laughs> Where is my monkey, Baba Booey? Oh, that's uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> really so uncool. <laughs> All right. The entire cast of Seinfeld getting together. What? 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 Did someone call me? Uh, Gary, how are you? What? I was. I was. I was. What? Did someone call me? <laughs> Baba Booey gets very insulted when you do that. He thinks he, thinks he doesn't sound like that. I don't sound like that. <laughs> what else is in the news, Robin? I was going to say, the cast of Seinfeld is getting together on the Regis and uh, Kelly show. Are you jealous of Jerry Seinfeld? You're, you're as good a comedian as him, aren't you? I mean, why did you never get the big break? Look at him. The money's still rolling in. Right yeah, but instead of wasting your time with this DVD, why don't you write a sitcom where you star in it and you would be like Seinfeld and you'd have a group of friends and you could walk around with them and, and make uh, observations? And go, hey, you're going on another date tonight? <laughs> <laughs> you have been dating the same girl for the past three days. And why don't you use that voice when you do that? <laughs> Perfect. Become Gilbert Seinfeld.
<laughs> yeah, of all the people to call about show business advice, why do you call me? Yeah, why do you call Seinfeld? Or Larry David, somebody. I want you to hire the cast of Seinfeld <laughs> to be in your show. Gee, I think it'd be really hard to get them now. You think? Yeah. You think they're busy? All right. Anything else, Robin? Even Jerry showing up, which I thought was interesting, yes. that all of the, the four principals will be Imagine. I, I think Seinfeld must love it, that they're all failing without him. Yes, oh, of course. <laughs> But he's you not trying to do anything. You can't go anywhere anything. without me. You have no real talent. You have nothing. Without me, you have no career. <laughs> <laughs> That's all on November 23rd that you can see that. And uh, finally this morning, Brooke Burns. Yes. Who was on Baywatch. Very attractive girl. Was dating Bruce Willis for a while. That's right. She had a terrible accident. She's in the hospital. See. She was diving into the pool at her home. See, this is because Gilbert prays that all good-looking women fall into a pool. <laughs> I'm and telling she you. Hit her My head. plan is working. She hit her head on the bottom. That's is she paralyzed? Very scary. No, they no. think she's going to make. Howard, <laughs> should I uh, should I uh, send Brooke flowers from you? Absolutely. Tell her best wishes. She's been hospitalized since the freak accident ha happened on Thursday, but likely will come home today, according to her manager. <laughs> She played Jesse on uh, Baywatch. Yes, Jesse. First appeared yes. on the big screen Adler. in Shallow How. Beautiful girl. Send her a signed Gilbert Gottfried DVD. The extra, <laughs> get one of the extra $12 ones. <laughs> Can she reach her wallet? <laughs> Is Robin Williams paying all her medical expenses? That would be a good gift, though, right, for Brooke Byrne. She, I would send her your DVD yes. signed, of course. Yes. And uh, mail it to her. Instead of flowers. You know, for her, she can buy it without the extra $12. Right. Anything else, Robin? That's what's happening. Gilbert Gottfried, thank you so much. Oh. So proud of you and your new accomplishment, your new DVD. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried, uh, Dirty Jokes, available from Gilbert Gottfried Productions. Available in stores December 6th. To pre-order Gilbert's DVD, go to GilbertGottfried.com. And Gilbert will be at Caroline's on Broadway in Manhattan December 22nd through the 24th. Maybe he'll bring some DVDs with him. We can sell them right from the stage. <laughs> and for ticket reservations, call 212-757-4100. Thank you, Gilbert.